the topic is microbial pathogenicity pathogenicity is capacity of organism to initiate the disease and it comprises of transmissibility infectivity and virulence transmissibility is communicability uh, from of of the bacteria from one host to the another host that is fresh host and infectivity is ability to breach the new host defense and virulence is the capacity of pathogen to harm the host now the virulence contains adhesion of the bacteria uh, to the host tissue then toxins which are endo and exo then ability of bacteria to fight against the host defense now in adhesion uh, we have fimbre tichoic acid and curly fimbre are shown by e coli and nigeria gonorrhea e coli and nigeria gonorrhea and tichoic acid by streptococcus and staphylococcus and some strains of e coli and salmonella they have uh, surface proteins called curly which bind to the endothelium which bind to the extracellular proteins such as fibronectin and which also bind to the serum proteins uh, such as factor 12 and thus they play a very important role in dic so remember salmonella and e coli have curly then bacteria is fighting against host defense uh, they have two methods first they avoid the fight and the second one is they engage in the fight that is they resist in avoiding the fight the bacteria have capsules uh, the bacteria such as h influenza and streptococcus pneumoniae and nigeria meningitis they have capsules they are capsulated organisms then streptococcus has streptococcal m protein then the bacteria of uh, resisting the phagocytosis there are phagolysosoma fusion by m tuberculosis then uh, staphylococcus aureus and nigeria gonorrhea have catalases i repeat staphylococcus aureus and nigeria gonorrhea have catalases which negates the effect of toxic oxygen radicals then there are antigenic variation on bacteria to trick the immune uh, system then there are iga1 proteases which act against the local immunity uh, the bacteria showing iga1 proteases are nigeria meningitis h influenzae and streptococcus pneumoniae then serum resistance in serum resistance the, there is deposition of complement and we know that complement acts against the bacteria the one thing to remember here is smooth strains are uh, show more resistant than rough strains then we have collagenase and hyaluronidase they respectively act against collagen and hyaluronic acid and they play a very important role in subcutaneous uh, infection uh, such for example such as cellulitis and the causative organism is streptococcus pyogenes then we have coagulase uh, which is produced by staphylococcus aureus coagulase uh, accelerates the formation of fibrin clot around it thus it prevents the phagocytosis and then lastly we have leukocytins which can destroy the neutrophilic leukocytes and macrophages so we will cover the toxins endotoxins and exotoxins in next video thank you for watching this video do comment and share this video to friends thank you